and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at installing DWM and Simple Terminal from Suckless. Now, DWM stands for Desktop Window Manager and ST stands for Simple Terminal. And this is software packages from the developing group Suckless. But before we continue any further, I'd like to thank my channel member, Miss Love. They get early access to videos such as this one right here. They get a badge next to the name that shows that they support me. And they also get priority response to comments. So, I'd like to thank Miss, Miss Lav once again. And let's get into the video. Now, the first thing that any self-respecting computer user will do before installing any software, especially when using Linux and Arch Linux no less, is to update their system. So, sudo pacman-s yyu. See if we've got any updates. Now, with this, as we can see here, there's nothing going on here. So there are a few things that we need to install before we go any further. Number one is primarily git. So to do that, we do sudo pacman capital S git. And as we can see here, there is what needs to be installed. Perl error, mail tools, time, date, and git 24, 2.46.1 dash or 0.0-1, so that's a new version of Git that I am not used to installing, so I will have to install that on my other systems, including my Linux from scratch one. Now that we have Git installed, there are a few software packages that we need to download as well to be able to use things. But before we can do anything else, we need to move files around and download more packages. So, we need to download have an s download and install xorg server xorg x init xorg x randa xorg x set root and just for funsies we're going to install firefox at the same time yes i know brain's wandering off wonderful so as we can see uh, it also wants, let's go for Jack2. Uh, there are 10 of uh, 10 providers available for the TTF font. There we go. What we're going to do is we're just going to do TTF liberation. And as we can see here, there are 185 packages that need to come down at the same time. But luckily for me, I have changed my pacman.conf file to allow for the simultaneous download of 25 uh, items at the same time now this very much does entirely depend on your internet speed and your computing capability however seeing as i have at the moment decent internet connection as well as a decent cpu i am okay with running a, running a downloads tool to download 25 things at the same time okay now that we have packages installed we need to download dwm and st after we have moved x in it to the correct place now to move x in it what we need to do is we need to do what we need to do is go to the correct directory and move a file called x init into the right place now this does not already exist in the root directory because if we do cd and then ls nothing shows up but we need to do ls hyphen la to be able to get a look at things now with that being there we can indeed confirm that there is nothing there that there should be so what we need to do is we need to do copy slash utc slash x11 it's important you do capital x because that is the name of the directory if you don't there will be problems so x11 slash x init slash x init rc and then copy that to dot x init rc now we do that we look here we have our dot x init rc 
So what we need to do is we need to open that up and we can do that with vim dot dot x init rc and there are five lines of text that we need to remove from the end it is remove twm x clock x term x term execute x term with geometry 80 by 66 so do that we just go replace dd because vim works in this way if you are not having the mode selected to insert or replace if you do Control c to get you back to basic and then press double d on your keyboard it then deletes the line which i find a rather nice tool but we go into insert mode go down one and all we need to do is type e x e c d w m and it's as simple as that what we want to do is do control c quit and that is that done now it's entirely up to you where you choose to download your repositories to because they're coming from the suckless git repository git file hosting repository because it's their own file hosting not using github so i'm going to choose to install it in my home directory as we can see there's nothing here so git clone https colon slash slash git.suckless.org slash dwm dwm and we replace the dwm with st to get simple terminal and there we have dwm and simple terminal so first thing we want to do is we want to cd into st and as we can see here here is everything if we want to make any changes to do to it all we have to do is change st.h so vim st.h and as we can see here this is the configuration for it uh, it's entirely up to you what you do or don't do um you can make any changes you want to i'm just going to leave it as is for now you can change fonts or the way this does anything or what have you but this is what the configuration file looks like it's not bad now we could also include macros with this but i'm not going to because it just works so, anyway what i want to do is sudo make clean install there we go so what we've done is just compiled this and now we've become the maintainer of our own version of simple terminal we need to leave this directory and go into dwm as we can see we've just moved up so ls and once again we need to go to d if we want to make changes what we can do is do vim dwm.c Right, not dwm but dot c but here is everything that we would change if we wanted to we want to do qa ls so in this case it'll just be or uh, vim util dot h nope i'm trying to remember but my brain's not working at the minute ah yes um make clean install And um, what we now have is dwm.c. So, uh, vim dwm.c. And as we can see here, that is not quite what we want, but it gives us the opportunity to make changes to things if we wanted to. Uh, once again, I config.h. There we go. So, vim config.h. Here we go. Here is the place we come to if we want to make changes to anything we want to do really so in this case we're just gonna change these around to four five nine nine eight seven and then six because i can and then we will just change the font size to mono space size 22 something like that and once we've done that we need to leave the directory we'll leave the file 
rebuild it with pseudo make well make clean install or pseudo make clean install just for peace of mind now what we do is start x and as we can see here we have our dwm as we can see one two three four five nine eight seven six um but in this case if we just do control well alt shift enter we get our terminal doesn't quite look the same because it's not well it's not the same but in this case if we just do firefox we get firefox uh sorry for the flashbang but that is unfortunately my eyes we can just keep going forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and i cannot remember i cannot remember how to close these so fun again these are just separate desktops you can choose to do whatever you want to in all of them that is entirely up to you but if you like the video hit the like button if you dislike it hit the dislike they both seem to work even though you can only see one of them remember when you use linux don't panic i have been nick you have been amazing and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day goodbye